it's really a unique place that embraces the arts and I was fairly surprised at how much of kind of a family community it felt like like everyone here kind of knew each other and if you were new they really welcomed you in there are people who have never carved before like me here and then there are very experienced you know experts in in sculpture and working with stone if you want to get started you can just literally come out for the day and do hand carving people start with all different sizes you can start with a a small stone your first time and do you know a very simple piece and it's a good way to get started or if you've been carving for a little while you know, it's a chance it's a really good chance to have a do a monumental piece when you've got forklifts and things of that nature to move the things and move them around without the difficulty pitching is usually one of the first things you do on stone it's designed only to remove stone where the precision is not an issue. This is a pitching chisel, okay? Look how different it is from regular chisel. Regular chisel wouldn't be bent to one side. This has a very blunt edge, and this is the cutting blade. What is important is to judge the angle. That means you put this chisel here, and you project implied line where this line goes, right? First you set it on and tap it so that you make a little thing there so that your chisel when you hit it hard doesn't slide. I tap it and now I hit it more and hit it more. There is no strain. Boom, 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 right? No strain, just swing, just the finish. And it's a chance to be with other sculptors because I don't have that many, certainly not stone carvers in South Carolina. So it's a chance to communicate, share ideas, learn new techniques, learn how to move big stones. Let's get real. I can either spend the money to have a huge block shipped to South Carolina. I can come here, have a wonderful time hanging out with other sculptors and learning things and get the weight off the piece for a similar amount of money than it would cost me to have the piece shipped in the first place. These two pieces have a, this first week in them. Uh -huh. And so I worked back and forth, and they are similar, except that this one is four inches longer. The two pieces in the back are from previous seasons. Uh, I'm going to get George to teach me some detail. And then there's enough stone left that by the time I practice carving the detail several different times, it'll be my own work. I'm carving a rhino. This is a paper mache rhino that I made in like fifth or sixth grade. I'm actually an intern here at the symposium. I'm writing my senior thesis on the history of lime, the limestone industry in South Central Indiana. Yeah, there, there are limestone quarries all around Lawrence County and Monroe County and we're really in the heart of it, you know? We're actually right across the street from the Bybee Stone Mill that's an active stone mill here. It was started by the Matthews family around 1870, around that time. This is some of the finest limestone in the world I've heard, so it's a real neat opportunity to just come here and work with it. Never carved limestone before, so my daughter and I came down. Thought it would be neat to try. They let us pick uh, some stone out. We had some drawings of what we wanted to do, at least a rough idea. We got started right away, and uh, they gave us some instruction on chisels and everything. I've been working on a frog, and Sarah's been working on a snail, so. It's slow progress, but uh, it's very rewarding. It's a lot of fun. I'm making a snail, and I just kind of rounded it around here and on top a little bit. And then I'm going to make the head over here, and the tail's going to be back here and add detail. To kind of avoid it runs up and down, what is your pitch sideways? Yeah, so I'll just make some cuts there. I've always done art since I was a kid. So 
I've never done stone carving. I've done wood carving. I've done clay sculpturing, painting. And I always wanted to do this. So my son and me decided to do this. And uh, that's how we come down here. When I first came down here, I didn't know there was so much about it. As far as the structural, how to, even before starting to carve, how what it takes to learn, you know, the sculpturing and the learning your muscles, how they move. So what is it that you're going to be making? I'm going to come we're going to do a, We're going to do a bust. Uh -huh. of a model that we had earlier here yeah. and this is the clay sculpture of it yeah. and then when then now we're going to transfer it onto the stone and hopefully by the end of Sunday it'll be close to that it's a lot of fun and it's a great way to get your foot in the door into sculpture, you know, and working with limestone. Anyone who is the tad bit interested should do it. It's great. I mean, everybody's real nice, friendly. They all help you real good, so it was really a good experience. Get your canopy and uh, come on, pretty much. <laughs>